Hi there, it's me again, your Lavanya. We are discussing on uh, Thiruvarut Payan, the next verse, verse number 28. Verse number 28 goes this way. Asu adiyel anaiva karanam yen mutti nilai pesadu kavum pini. As in yesterday's verse, we were discussing almost in the similar lines. We were, we were asking a question. Can we ever say this anavam? Anavam is nothing but the darkness, right? Can we say that is the quality or the characteristics of the soul? We cannot say. We already saw the, uh, with an example also, with an analogy also, our guru was explaining that very clearly to us. Now, in today's verse also, it is in the form of a question, question and an answer. So, he is asking, uh, there is a very common confusion. Whenever we hear about Anavam, we do have a common confusion. The confusion is very simple. If you say this particular Anavam came in only midway, imagine it was not with us from the beginning, but it just came in midway. Can we say that? Now, our Guru is answering the same question. He says, you are not supposed to say that way because when you do say that it came in mid, in the half, in half way, it also leads to another argument that will it go away from us? Number one. Second one is, if that is the case, even when I achieve self-realization, is there a possibility that it will come back again and it will entangle me? There is a possibility, right? Because if it can come now and it can entangle with me, obviously there is a possibility that it can come in even after attaining self-realization. So, there will be a fundamental flaw in the concept itself. That is the reason Saiva Siddhantam is very, very clear in explaining it. They said, this Arnavam, is no, th there is no uh, starting date for that. There is no, like whatever we call it, like manufacturing date, birth date, whatever you want to call it. There is nothing like a date for it, as in it, it doesn't have an, uh, a, a starting point. It was there ever since the soul was existing, it is existing in this planet. And at the same time, we are talking about uh, Padi as well, as in the Almighty. When Almighty is here, the same period souls are here. When the souls are here, the same period Arnavam is also here. So, we cannot say by any chance, we, we shouldn't be saying that it came halfway and it will be going away uh, in, in, the, in, the, in um, uh, midway. It's ever there with us. Just that the intensity will be a little bit reduced when we achieve self-realization. But remember, even in self-realization, this concept of Arnavam will still be with the life because it has this quality to entangle itself with life. It's like a parasite that you can imagine. It's like a parasite to the soul. It just entangles itself. It is just feeding on our ego. That is the reason whenever Arnavam is quite high, we can see our ego is also quite high, right? That is what today's verse is all about. I'll come back again with the next verse very soon. Until then, bye-bye.